Şefaati ya Resulü Kerim, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Ati Allah, Ati Rasulü Ulul Amri minkum. And reminder from myself, Ana abduk ula jisu da'ifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. In this holy month, like a formula, we put the 92, then equals Muhammadan reality that the abjad and the secrets of huruf and numbers in relationship to the Divine, the Presence, that the mim ha, mim dal, it adds to 92. In malakut, in mulk, that 92 it reflects onto the earth through this world of a mirror. We are but a reflection of a reality, this is not real. And this dunya Allah describes is but an illusion. So on this dunya the secret is 29, the reflection of that 92. Then 29 in the huruf is lam alif, so you put 29 equals the Muhammadan reality, equals like those you know I've seen those crazy physicists when they write these formulas, this is that version. So you put 92 equals Muhammadan reality sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Dunya 29 is the gate to that reality to understand the reality of 29. Then you put equal again, 29th huruf is lam alif, what they call basirat al-lam jalala. By the secret of this lam and this alif and that lam alif is the zulfiqar, goes up and down. So the, the lam and the alif is the, is the stem of the sword, the handle of it is a hay which is a hu. So the hu holds the two stems, so that twenty-nine is the secret of lam alif. Two and nine equals eleven. Two plus nine, eleven. So the next line you put eleven. Eleven because now the code is giving us its secrets. So it came from ninety-two, it's veiled in the understanding of twenty-nine. So then the school of reality must be teaching you what is 29? Why we went into the cave on Ankabut? Basirat al-Lam Jalala is the secret of Lam Alif which means La, no, no head, no you to reach the reality. This is not about me and myself, everything the number is showing us in these haqqaiqs is to enter the state of Lam Alif. That no, nothing. Like Surat Al Ankabut, hide, be hidden into this cave of realities. Then the two plus the nine equals eleven. And that's why Garm al Sharif and those whom love Shaykh Abdul Qadir, Qaddasallahu Siru, they're celebrating eleven and many realities of eleven. And this is the holy month, the eleventh month, Zul Qidah. So this 11 is the secret of that 92, it's opening its, its reality because the deeper you go into the reality the more it's telling you about itself. The more Prophet is revealing that at 92 you're learning about Muhammadun Rasulullah Mim ha Malik al-Hayat, Mim dal Malik al-Dunya. These are of that haqqaiq and reality. When they open for us, go now into the 29, go into the cave, go into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad He is the secret by which is known Lam Alif. He is the secret of this Lam Alif. He is the secret of all this manifestation. Because this lamb to manifest this creation needs the power izzat of the alif. And as a result everything is coming into existence. Allah bring into existence not so that you go back to Allah 
but he brings it into existence by the power that he puts upon the lamb and a creation is brought into existence from the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah by the power and might of Allah But not so that you could say, I go back to Allah, then I'm a partner with Allah, I came from Allah. No, la shariq and la shabi, there's nothing on to this reality, there's nothing in its likeness of this reality. So then the eleven begins to clarify the reality. The eleven is to ones, one of Allah and La ilaha illallah, there's nothing like that. And the one of Muhammadun Rasulullah and there's nothing in creation like that reality. That one is of a ahadiyya, the unique oneness of Allah the Creator that nothing is like unto it. And then Allah created another one, a reflection of the ahad which is called wahid. It is an ahad because it's Allah's reflection of ahad but Allah put a wow and made it wahid. So the two ones symbolize ahad and wahid and they're both ahad but Allah put a wow. So for anyone wondering. Why all over the Turkish zawiyas you see wow, 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 wow? Because the secret is about wow. If you don't know what wadood and you don't know about what love is, the Islam that you're practicing is very shallow and very hollow. You didn't get it yet because Allah wanted to be known. Allah is, is reflecting His unique oneness that can't even be understood and its only key is wow. Our whole life is this, what is this wow? How are you going to reach to this unless you are from wadood and loving? Well then that's why it requires a school of character. I don't know if we're going to follow the tariqah, you don't have to follow anything. But are you doing anything in your life that is building good character? This is a school of character, forget about the name and say, oh my relatives are now telling us don't follow tariqah, don't follow it. Take out this word tariqah because you seem to have been lost in translation like you're reciting something from Chinese and put into it good character. So we don't want to follow good character anymore, okay, that should make more sense to you. So when somebody comes and say, you shouldn't follow tariqah, say, okay forget about the word tariqah. Tariqah is just about wow, just about love, just about wadood. So we shouldn't follow a path of good character? No, no, absolutely not. Learn how to be obnoxious, angry and, and like animal-like characteristics because that's what you say by its opposite, the rule of opposite. We shouldn't study good character and love and, 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 and the good attributes that make Allah to be happy with us. And this is the path of that reality, how to reach that reality. So this, this eleven is then its secret for us that Allah wants His La ilaha illallah to be known. And the only reflection that reflecting that is Muhammadun Rasulullah So with all its realities Allah reflecting from that one of La ilaha illallah into the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah So then our journey is into the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah then those hadiths come to describe where Allah just said, if you entered into this journey of realities and into this journey of Muhammadun Rasulullah now Allah defines in the hadiths that, I'm not in heaven, I'm not on earth, I'm in the heart of my believer. He's giving now the coordinates for us. If you're Putting your soul, your love, your wujud to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad to find the reality of La ilaha illallah. It's Allah change out the words where Allah is saying, I'm a hidden treasure wanting to be known. And my La ilaha illallah is not in heaven, my La ilaha illallah is not on earth.
but it is in the heart of Muhammadun Rasulullah So then to reach the reality and that's why the teachings are all immense essences, the essence of oneness. Because people say, oh this is like is this a shirk? No, this is actually so much the essence of oneness it's blowing your head and you're not understanding it because it's so one that Allah is La ilaha illallah is reflecting to Muhammadun Rasulullah which completely keeps into the oneness. That you want to find me? Then you should be moving with your soul into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And in that reality your soul is moving into that reality and only in that reality of that qalb, that, that center of power which everything is emanating, it's the house of the holy speech that emanates Qur'an, Qur'an and Majeed from the heart of that reality. That's why from that heart the power of Allah and Allah is coming out which for us is a manifestation of the Qur'an which is not created. Otherwise how it's coming from this heart, from the soul of Prophet how Qur'an is coming out? Because Allah defined, I'm in the heart. My La ilaha illallah is in the heart of that reality. If you're not in that reality you're in the imitated which is not really wahid and it's not in an ocean of oneness. It's an imitated understanding outside of Muhammadun Rasulullah So then this is the immensity of that love. This is the immensity of the purpose of this teachings of love, teachings of characteristics, how to make your salawats, how to make all of these durood, how to have these good characteristics so the soul can move into that presence, move into that reality. It doesn't move with bad characteristics, it doesn't move with aql and a brain, it moves by love and muhabbat because Prophet said, you be with whom you love because the soul and ishq they have their own coordinates. You can't put and force anybody to love you with your head and keep telling them, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm wonderful, I'm wonderful, I'm wonderful. You know put yourself out there and hope people will love you. That, that's why they taught differently in school when they say, big alama, alama babaji, babaji haji baji and he's big alama this because he has to make his own love for people to love them. They don't understand the way of tariqah where tell everybody you're absolutely nothing, you're donkey. Ana abdukala jisu daifu miskinu zalimu jahal. Do you think any exterior scholar would ever deflate themselves and, and, and efface themselves? Because they're too busy trying to make people love them. But their teaching, you don't have to care who loves you, it's not about anyone loving you. But that Allah love you and Sayyidina Muhammad to love you and the rest of creation will love because of that love. If Allah loves the soul of that servant and emanate the realities within the soul and the heart of that servant, no doubt the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is emanating from that reality and no doubt there is a juzba and attraction. And that's what attracts people to that reality. Not that they made themselves to go and force people. But the heart and soul of people are attracted and that's why Prophet described, you be with whom you love. That these people of wadud, the way they teach, the way the, the energy and light emanates from them, it attracts a like character. It attracts a character that is going to be based on love and muhabbat and good characteristics and like a magnet it draws it in. They don't draw anybody from head. Somebody come like, I got 50 questions, you're in the wrong door, go next door. They don't sit there and, and debate you to get your head to understand this logic. If you come like that they say, oh you know, ahlan wa sahlan, I don't think this is going to work. This is what Qur'an said about Sayyidina Khidr said, I think this is where we part. 
Because someone with little knowledge has no patience for what's going to be revealed. So this is a way of muhabbat, Allah sends those whom their souls and their heart are seeking this Divine love, not romantic love, this is not dunya, this is Divine love in which they've been in so many difficulties, so many calamities, so many testings, they've given up on the world. They've been through difficulty, they know what sadness is, they have seen sadness. And at that time they're yearning, Ya Rabbi I've been with all these different groups and I don't find you there. And I don't find what I'm looking for. Said so before in our own path we go to masjid, after Jummah come out they were very mean to homeless people. So I said, what was all your Jummah for? You coming out to beat up the homeless? This was the effect and the, the blessings of your Jummah? They would shoot him away, get out, get out. I said, but these are like pigeons that Allah sent for you to get your Jummah to be accepted. Because you come out, Jummah, who are you going to find to give two dollars? to make your Jummah accepted because you have to give something so that it seals your practice. Allah sent them like pigeons that you're giving crumbs to, you're not emptying your bank account to these people. Even that one you don't want to give a crumb, this can't be Islam. And many have seen that and they walked away from it, says, what are people crazy? And then they cry out to their Lord, yeah, I, need, I need from what I, I heard, I read from the seerah. The companions were sitting around Sayyidina Muhammad with immense love, enjoying and loving and laughing, fighting and struggling. So they have a yearning for muhabbat, they're not looking for aql, they're not looking for the way of the head and, and make something logical to me, that's a different door, you go somewhere else for that. This is ishq and muhabbat and only through that they come and the speed of a magnet they're able to be attracted. And that's why families, friends they don't understand, well what happened? You, one day you were like this, now you're wearing their green turban like them? Yeah the love hit me, hit me like a rocket, pow! <laughs> yeah, psh. who can stop that love? Because Allah and Prophet said, Wa qulini kuntum tuhibun Allah fatabiyuni yuhibakumullah. If you follow that way, I will love you. If Allah start to dress your soul with love, can anyone stop it? If Prophet says that you be with whom you love means I'm accepting this love that you're coming to me empty and heartbroken, I love you. And like a magnet you're, you're running, you're growing your beard, you're putting your turban, you're dropping everything else, that you look now you're from the moon. Remember what you look like when we saw you in Surrey? So handsome debonair guy. Now Babaji, official Babaji, big <laughs> Yeah, that means he's caught the love. The love has got him, grabbed him and they don't care how much pounding you get from the outside world because the, the love, you know all this poetry, you have to put it into effect. The moth to the flame is following the sunnah. What does it mean the moth to the flame? Did you shave your beard? Is that what the moth meant? Or the moth is, go to the flame means you start entering this fire, everybody going to attack you. Why you look like this? Why you act like this? Why you sit like this? Why you have a tasbih now? Because the love has caught you and all you can think about is, I have to burn. My, my destiny is this flame and this ishq. My destiny, I see the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and I have to go. I have to move into that reality, that's the fire. Not walking away from everything but to dawn everything. We said the green dome of Medina is you realize that love I have to put it, I have to resemble it, it burns within me. I'm lost within that, now that poetry makes sense that the most is just flying. That love that he sees is the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and the moth will go into it regardless if its wings and everything is burning from it. We pray that Allah ignite our hearts in this holy month Ameen. and grant us this ishq and muhabbat 
and that it burns strong within the heart. This love for His Divinely Presence which manifests in the love for Sayyidina Muhammad in which the person to be caught. When their heart is ignited and caught nothing inshaAllah extinguishes it. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.